Hello everyone, this is Yakuro with another UE4 tutorial. In this episode, we will look into the UProperty macro and cover the following specifiers. Replicated and replicated using. Those two specifiers are from the big topic of multiplayer programming and because that can get quite complicated and would take a really long time to go too much into detail, uh, we will cover them here in this episode just briefly. And I was thinking to make a series about multi multiplayer programming and we will dive into them in more details. Um, yeah, okay, so saying that, let's start with an example. Let's say we have here this actor and have a property which represents um, the energy shield or something. And this is going to be replicated. So, oops, replicated, like this. Um, and replicated, in short, means the one who has authority over this actor is controlling this property. Um, and controlling means when it writes a value to it, uh, the server will make sure that it will be replicated to the other clients. So on your client side code, if you write here something, then it might be overwritten in the next update or in the following update. So uh, on the client side code, you should treat a replicator property kind of read only. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, so now let's go to the implementation. There we are going to include a header file, Unreal Network, because there are some macros we're going to use. Of course, we have to uh, activate the replication for this actor. Set replicates to true, else it will not replicate the property to the other clients. And to doing that, uh, we have to implement a function to register our um, our property for replication and the Unreal header tool actually when you specify this specifier or the replicated using it will add uh, it will add uh, a virtual uh, virtual function in the background and that's what we're going to overwrite and that is called um, wait a minute wait get lifetime uh, replicated props lifetime oops come on lifetime property that's a reference lifetime props and this is a const member function don't forget to call the uh, member function of the base class really important and now we can use the do rep lifetime which is like default using for replication and pass the class name and then the properties name which was shield okay i think yeah until here we did everything correct so when we make sure that we write the value on the authority side to this property it will be replicated by the server to the clients and to do that to demonstrate that, sorry, we are going to do this. So we're just faking the change in that value with a timer and we will uh, create a timer here at begin play. So let's say if we have the authority, we're going to set a timer and this is kind of hacky usually we should make sure that we delete the timer but just for demonstration purposes it's okay get world timer manager and then we pass the handle and 
oh the parameters are not correct ah this one yeah so then it is the this function then uh, and not this function it is this, this pointer then uh, a member function we're going to use when the timer finished then in rate after one second it should fire this function and no loop okay so okay in here we will change the shield value let's say it goes down to 55 and maybe we should initialize this 100 or something why not and print out this value maybe here log temp warning warning because you can see the value nicely in the terminal then let's say it's a float and this is okay um yeah that should be okay and here because i like to do small modifications or I want to use this property in the blueprint level uh, read only let's use blueprint read only that's okay and I think we're ready to compile let's compile this oh I forgot to start the editor let's wait Okay, looks good. Okay, let's start the editor. Yeah, so what else can I say so far? Yeah, for example, not sure if I did already. So this do rep lifetime macro is defined in this Unreal Network header file. And there are some other ones, uh, for example, to change the condition when it should replicate. And, but as I said, I was thinking to make uh, other tutorial series about the multiplayer programming. And I will cover them in more details uh, in those tutorials. So, okay, we have the editor now. Let's create the blueprint version of our actor. And here, because it shows if it's on the client side or the server, I like to print out this value. Just for demonstration purposes. Okay. Okay, so what's going to happen is we should see here uh, for one second hundred, and then it's uh, it should go back to fifty. Uh, it, it should go to fifty-five, right? And of course, we have to drag this into the level. Oh, finished. So let's look at the output. Okay, so you could see that already here we have the server hundred client. Uh, same value and then the timer finished and this is done on the server side uh, so we set the value to 55 and the client wow okay that was fast already in the next frame the server updated the client's value too wow that's cool okay the server is at 55 and the clients it replicated already the value really cool for example, let me show you this. If we disable, or is it here? This replicates, which we set in the code. You will see that this is not going to replicate. And you can see it here already. Um, 
here 100 100 then again time of finished sets the value on the server to 55 the client is 100 server is 55 and you can see the client is not changing so the server is not replicating this value to the client and that's the reason why you should activate this replication flag okay so that's this now let's look into the replicated using so what is the difference between replicated and replicated using well replicated using expects you to pass a member function name let's call this on shield changed and it behaves actually the same so it will replicate the server will replicate this value to the client plus additionally it will call this function on the client and this uh, function uh, it's going to be a void and now something really important don't forget to say it is a u function so use this macro if you don't do uh, it might crash or some other weird behavior you have to definitely specify this u function for that uh, now we can implement this so and this function or member function is going to be called on the client when our shield property gets changed okay so let's compile this and now uh, there is another thing you should know so as I said this function uh, this member function is going to be called only on the clients um, if you need the code parts which you put here and you have to uh, you have to do the same in your on your server of course you have to call this function manually on the server so don't forget that okay finished let's clear the lock start stop and so okay I saw it already here we start server 100 client 100 and then you will see that oh wow that's really fast so you can see we're changing the value on the server gets 55 and it already in the next frame calls the on sh uh, this this uh, function we defined and gets the value to 55 and here you can see the client has in the blue uh, blueprint level already prints that the same value yeah okay um i think that is all for this episode so if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to leave me a comment it can happen that i make maybe a second part of this not to wait for this uh, multiplayer uh, multiplayer tutorials i'm planning for the future just to go more in depth about those macros here uh yeah saying that so Thanks for watching and hopefully seeing you in the next episode.